Oh, look, I think Peter's um, main, uh, one of his main attributes is, uh, is discipline and to, to go out there as a, as a, as a young tennis player and, and be involved in, in the sport for the right reasons and, and actually respect the sport for what it is. And, and with that, you know, uh, he creates a discipline on the court and, and then you take that into, your, you know, into, into the way you develop as a player. And, and that's, uh, for me, that's, that was one of the uh, glaring, uh, glaring things about Peter. And, and obviously there are other, other things as, uh, as a coach. Uh, te technically, I think Peter's you know, one of the best technical coaches around as well. And, and that's, uh, that's shown up in a lot of the players that he's developed. As a coach, you, you must, uh, if you've got some talented athletes, you, you, you know, you, you need to produce a, um, a knowledge of belief to, uh, to them. You've got to you let them know that you do believe in their ability to succeed. Not everyone, everyone's on a different scale of, of ability and, and different attributes. And, and Peter was, you know, is quick to acknowledge and uh, acknowledge that in an athlete. And then he would, he'd be, um, you know, very, very straightforward in delivering that message and, and then giving you that belief to keep pushing yourself and, and getting a little bit extra out of yourself and, and with that I think there's a very good synergy between player and coach and, and, and that's why as, as I said there have been a lot of people in his stable that uh, have gone on and taken on the ATP tour. Peter was obviously my first coach at, at a young age so, so I take um, you know pieces of what Peter delivered to me and, and you know I'm sure I say those some of those things on the court to, to some younger players and also to, to my player you know currently being Leighton so um, and then there are other coaches around the country um, you know that, that you've worked with that uh, you know that will be involved as well so look I'm, th there's there's a significant part and, and I'm not sure what percentage that is but uh, you know there's always there's always some good things that come out of it. Well, South Australia's had a very strong, um, passionate tennis background, and it's 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 gone a, a way way beyond uh, the years of uh, of myself or John Fitzgerald or Peter Carter or um, Brod Dyke, uh, Mark Woodford, those those type of guys. that sort of way back there. So it's got a, it's had a very strong tradition. With Leighton now emerging as you know our best player uh, of all time, coming out of this uh, state, we all we all sort of ride, I suppose, on his coattails and and and, and love the ride. And, and when we see him go out there, produce it with with a passion. And and so that's why I think. We're we're all passionate about it, and, and we're about we're passionate about his success, and we'll help him in uh, in getting a result, you know, as as well as well we can. And and I think with that, you know, the whole of our state, South Australia, do absorb themselves in his in his in his passion. He shows it on the court, and he's very passionate about it. And uh, it's, it's it's very hard not to uh, for not for that to be coming really infectious. And and with that, you know, he brings a lot lot of people along with him. Yeah.